Welcome back to Sexified Fallout New Vegas. I'm Rook, the pink haired girl is nasty, and the lovely girl here in this Asuka armor is Willow. Uh, now, depending on the lighting, I, I'm iffy on the armor. I do like the, the shapeliness of it and so forth, and in kind of more muted light, it looks pretty darn good. Um, and it's super, super protective. If you haven't seen the stats on it, the previous video I, I showed um, what it's got. It's pretty baller. So, um, here we are. We're in the Mormon Fort in Freeside. And I want to talk to a few people because I believe we are going to be able to help out Vanessa with her heart problem uh, by uh, talking with these folks. So, um, I think first, I want, to, I want to go over and talk with this doctor lady. This is Julie, and wow, she's got very pretty eyes. Uh, the hair, uh, <laughs> not real doctory, but you know, this is the wasteland, so you know, let's not judge. Uh, but let's talk to her. Hey, Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, you need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside Essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Uh... Okay, uh, you've got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Alright, let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Uh, things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. What about woman enough? I'm, I'm woman enough. Anything else I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Uh, you said something about helping addicts? Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Okay. I'll see what I can do to help them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Alright, uh, let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Uh, nothing. So, okay, well, she's going to have us do missions and stuff for her, uh, but I believe it's this guy, Arcade Ganon, who can potentially help us fix poor Vanessa's heart. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Uh, what kind of research? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. Okay, what's the goal? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. You don't sound too enthusiastic. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup sole. Nihil what? Oh, sorry. There is nothing new under the sun. If agave and mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. 
Uh, where did you learn that? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Um, well, let's talk about something else. Certainly. Uh, do you need any help? Me specifically? No. I'm sure Julie Farkas does, though. Lab coat, pointy hair. Answers to the name Julie Farkas, strangely enough. I'm sure she can find something for you to do. It might be kind of depressing and terrible, though. Caveat Samaritanus. Uh, okay, uh, why do you research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Well, why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? All right, okay. I need my speech up to 75 or greater to get him, but I don't think I can get the book from him without getting him with us. So, uh, good point. Goodbye. See you around. All right, so that leaves us. We're at 49. Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. I can get to 69 with a magazine. Oh, and I've got, yeah, I have got speech stuff. So, uh, oh, oh, you know what? He's not going to join us until I talk to Veronica. And we're going to have to ask her. You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Uh, why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Um. Okay, well, we you will get back to her, but for the time being, I think we're gonna have to let her go. Why does everyone always say that? Oh, it's not like that. Um. I I just think we should right now. Okay. Then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Right, okay. Now, the reason we had to let her go is because Morning. I can't have her and Eddie and this guy What's all up? at the same time. Uh, the, these other two companions? One odd robot. Wait. Okay. Um, Beatrix, uh, you just chill for a second there. We, we need to persuade this guy to join us. So, let's let's take a look here. We've got our super apparel. Um, yeah, this. Okay, that, that gets our speech up by 15. And then, if I use one of the magazines... Uh, is it meeting people, I believe? Do I have... Oh, I have one meeting people... That bumps our speech up. Use that. Now we talk to this guy. Hello again. Still in one piece, I see. Uh, yeah, so why do you research? Like I said before, not all followers are good with people. I'm fine doing research back here. Even if it is a bit boring. And pointless. And a complete waste of time. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just voicing my thoughts so they don't burrow out of my skull in a fit of abject despondency. He is such a wonderful optimist. Um, why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Because I am in a, like, I'm nude with huge boobs right now. That's why. Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. 
I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? Fair enough. There's something about that robot that doesn't seem... all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. All right. We get his better healing perk. Uh, we lost the scribe assistant perk when we dismissed Veronica, but uh, that's fine. We're probably going to get Veronica back relatively soon. But uh, so, what's your problem with Eddie? It just seems a little twitchy. Some of these robots, you look at them the wrong way, don't screw in a vacuum too bright. The next thing you know, you're a pile of ash on the floor, and someone's stepping out of a vertebrate to sweep your remains into a Nuka Cola bottle. <laughs> okay. That sounds a little paranoid, Arcade. Does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so now that we've got him with us, what we need to do is check his inventory. And God, I hope I haven't gone through all this for no reason. Sure, just don't look treat at me this. Like a pack Brahmin, okay? All right, <laughs> okay, dude, just shush. Um, this is what we were after. Oh, he's got eyeglasses that give nothing. Right, whatever. Uh, Vanessa's heart disease. So we're gonna take that from him. Uh, okay. Mengalele RV... Okay, available at Cerulean Robotics. This robot on tests. Specialization, heart surgery, and breast implants. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, Doc Mengalele. Prototype Block 10. German quality production. Okay. That... Alright, I will read the book, I guess. Um... Okay, we got a note added. So apparently, apparently he's a Mr. Gutsy. This robot. Uh, let's let's look at our data. Okay. Uh, available. Uh, talked about this and that. Oh, it's just does the same thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, am I still? Oh, I am. Uh, yeah, look, good lord, look at the size of her boobs. That is, that is ridiculous. Um, but, you know, it helps us with the Morning. persuasion stuff, uh, I guess. So, uh, Vanessa. We rule. We do rule. Uh, but, look, hey, I found a letter in your bag. It was for Jesse. I Sorry, but I read it. You what? You went through my things? But... Oh, it's good that you feel right at home. Is it comfortable enough for you? Give it back to me. Now, Six. Uh, hey, uh, I, I'm sorry, Vanessa. I just wanted to understand why you fell down like that. Why didn't you just ask me then? Well, I wasn't sure how to word the question tactfully. Yeah, these dialogue options suck, right? <laughs> but that's no reason to pry into my business. Anyway, so you've read the letter and the wonderful story with those fiends. Nice story, is it not? I thought I was going to die like some idiot, but I wondered if I would die either by myself or if they were going to help me. Neither one nor the other. That's why you found me getting hammered in a bar, waiting for some unknown miracle. I've crossed the wasteland, and I've never backed down. No son of a bitch has ever managed to make me flinch. And now, I feel like an utter fool, stuck in a tired body. My heart is a big piece of shit, and I do not like talking about it. Look, in this letter, you say that Doc Mitchell has a solution, a book. Perhaps we could go to the fort in Freeside, Mormon something or other. Yeah, we're, we're here now. I think now. I know the guy the doc was talking about. If it's him... <laughs> whatever. But you'll be the judge of that yourself. Well, he's actually with us right now. So, okay. I found the letter, we talked to her, we completed that. Uh, she's obviously very sick, and we got the book... Um, 
Right. There was options. We could have got the book elsewhere, but this seemed like the, the easiest way to get it. So I've got the book. Let's talk to her again. Victor. This little robot is obviously hiding something. We need to learn what it is soon. Oh, she talked about Victor and the little eyeball. Maybe we need to speak with Victor. I forget what we need to do with Eddie, but uh, I may be talking with Victor going through all this dialogue. will unlock some Eddie stuff. I don't know. Whatever. That's not what we're after. Look, I've got the book. Great. Let me take a look at it. Let's see here. It talks about a German robot. His name is ironically creepy. I cannot wait to see this. It is in that center of robots in Freeside. We could go. If you want. Uh, sure, let's go. Th thank you. It's nice of you, really. Uh, you know, first, we need a heart. Shall we go kill somebody? Uh... You know... Even if it means me being butchered by a robot with a nauseating stench for scientific experiments worthy of the worst freak show, I rather have the finest piece of meat in the Mojave. <laughs> okay, I'm all up for that. Now, let me just digress for a moment, guys, before we proceed on with this. Uh, by now, if you've read along the, the dialogue here and listened to what she says, uh, clearly... She doesn't say the same thing that's written. I think it's because uh, there's been some translation of this. This may, may have been written by a German. Uh, I know there's a German version of this Vanessa mod, but whatever the case, uh, it doesn't matter. The gist is all the same. So um, I, I like it anyway. I, I'm all up for that, Vanessa. So uh, where could we find the best human meat in the Mojave? Ultralux? Uh, you're well informed. No, I'm not. Well... Yes, I am, but I can't really prove it. But I'm not stupid, even if I pretend to be. People talk, you know, especially in bars. And especially when they try to drink with me. Alcohol turns guys into limp dicks, so it loosens the tongues. It depends on how you see it, I suppose. Personally, right now, I don't look like much, sexually. But with this whimsical heart, I would die on the spot. A pleasant death, indeed. The result is that I listen more than I act, but I learn interesting little secrets. Should we check the kitchens of the Ultra Lux's restaurant? If you want. It's strange. I don't know how to say this, but I feel hope. I had forgotten that feeling, having hope. To imagine a future that would stop overnight. It took me three years to get back here to Nevada. And I felt the symptoms appear slowly. The beings of the flesh get used to everything. Even the worst. Nature is surprising. Resignation comes gradually. But it's barely noticeable. But today, I feel weird. I think I'm happy. Oh, I, I hope she's happy, and we're going to fix her up. This uh, Hopefully that doctor oh. doesn't butcher her, uh, as she alluded to. But, um, okay, one thing I want to do before we go any further is we're going to open okay, up... Okay, but take care of my stuff. I, I, I will take care of your stuff. We're going to get rid of those glasses, and we're going to get rid of that ridiculous sheriff's hat. And uh, so she's got... Oh, that's her Jackie, and she's got... this. Look at this muffin. 57 lockpick, one strength, and it gives you back hit points and stuff. She's, that is a great muffin. Um, she can keep her muffin, though. Man, she's carrying around a lot of whiskey and her custom whiskey, too, and stuff. So, um, yeah, and she's got plenty of stuff to make more, I think. Whatever the case. Um, it's not what we're about. Uh, oh, she I forgot she was carrying around the baby doll outfit. And that's cool. Uh, so we're going to just do that. Ah, oh, she looks so much better without the hat and glasses. I hated how her hair was sticking through the hat anyway. So, okay, now, we've got this Ganon guy with us. Um, you know what? I don't want him. I don't, I just don't want him. Um, so, look, we're going to talk to him again. Do we, we can pick him up later, What's right? Up? 
You just wait here. Okay. Just don't be gone long. I sunburn easily. Fine. I don't need him following us around. We don't need his extra damage or anything. Um, you know, with with these two girls and Eddie, did, we're fine. We're <laughs> so totally Morning. fine. Um, but now we've got the book. We've got Vanessa's thing. She wants to go to the Ultralux, and that is, I think, where we should head now. Uh, but I just realized we have spent so much time here. Oh, and I'm still naked with freaking ginormous balloons for boobs. Uh, we're going to fix that real quick here. We're going to because I was just about to spin the camera around and realize that is probably not the best thing to do. Oh, we got to get rid of all this stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to put back on our T6M order outfit. And there we go. Now we're safe for YouTube consumption. But I think we have done enough for now. It's all been dialogue. But it's been great dialogue. It's gotten us a lot of information, and we've got quests queued up our uh, wazoos. Um, and if you don't know where the wazoo is located, I Google it. For now, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, suggestions, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell all your friends to subscribe if you would, please. Uh, that helps so, so much, guys. Um, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.